And welcome to the Viking Bowl in snowy South Lake Tahoe, California. Round two, the semifinals of the 4A Northern Nevada Football Championships. Mike Irvin here along with John Herzl and our camera person, Howard Collette Jr. And John, this is a good matchup with the Huskies and the Vikings. Today. Boy, this is a great matchup, and this is perfect South Tahoe football weather, and certainly the Vikings should have the advantage up here in the uh, Tahoe Bowl. Well, they hope so, and the Huskies are hoping uh, their season, which has turned around from early season injuries, uh, are coming into high gear. They're both teams peaking right now, and they both want a chance to go down to Minden next week to face the Douglas Tigers in the championship. We'll be back with the opening kickoff. This is the LSB Game of the Week. Well, here we go for the opening kickoff, round two, semifinal playoffs for the right to meet the Douglas Tigers for the Northern Nevada 4A title. Tom Vickery, will, number 99, will kick off for the Reno Huskies. Back deep for the Vikings on this cold, snowy day is number two, Randy Henson, and number nine, Dan Gomez. And we're about ready to get this one going. And we say hello to our buddy Dan Slater, who's down in Las Vegas, sunny Las Vegas, covering volleyball today. You're really missing this fun, cold weather, Dan. <laughs> I'm sure he is today. goes it's a squib kick it's going to be taken by Gomez at the 10 to the 15 to 20 Dan picks up a block coming up in the middle good block and Gomez gets out to about the 32 yard line brought down by one Brian Carpozo so the Viking offense comes on the field taking a look at the offensive line number 50 Chris Thorne 57 Nick Garrett 77 Richie Geeson 51 Jose Rodriguez 73 Renee Rodriguez the tight end is number 14 Justin Keyes, Dan Gomez is number nine, Kevin Capolino 81. In the backfield, Joey O'Malley, number 16, Grant Swinney, number 35, and the quarterback is Mikey Van Gordon, number 12. And the refs are holding things up. You know, on a cold, snowy day, we want them to <laughs> keep moving. Uh, here we go. Swinney, and he gets racked up after about three yards. Number 51 on the stop. That's for Jake the, Killian. Jake Killian and Mike Coomer, number 54, also for the Huskies. The Husky defense out there right now, Jake Killian, Sean Bingham, Wes Evans, Gerald Berry, Russ Beaker, Ryan McKinley, Matt McKissick, Mike Coomer, Julius Broussard, Proctor Hug, and Tom Barcia. equipment problem right now in the field. Checking with uh, number 57, <clears throat> Nick Garrett. Here we go, second and about seven. Pitch to Grant Swinney around the left side and nowhere to run. Swinney's having a hard time getting his footing down there in the middle of the field, just full of mud and you know, Ryan. they're all being a little tentative right now. In the middle of that field is uh, where it's in the worst shape. They, uh, I call it kitty litter, but some <laughs> kind of a dirt sand substance that they put out there early this morning in the middle of the field, but it's uh, still a mess. You'll see a lot of running to the far left and right, I think, today. Third down and still seven. Draw nowhere to run, loses about a yard on the play. Looks like Barcia on the stop. And Matt Bobman, number 11, will come in the punt for the Vikings. Back deep for the Huskies. Is that number 88? The number I can't see. It looks like 28, 28. Tom Barcia. And it rolls by him. 
And it's going to roll dead at the 19 yard line. All right, we're back. The Huskies come up first and 10 from their own 19 yard line. John Wallace is the quarterback. We'll run down both lineups in just a second. Connor Martin on the carry, and he gets just swarmed under Brian Finkel and Eric Pacheco on the stop. Pick up of two. Running down the Husky offense right now. The front line, 78 Joe Sturgis, Matt McKissick, Justin Rowe, John Steven, and Sean Bingham across the front. The tight end is number eight, Wes Evans, and I believe number 11, Ryan McKinley, is also in there right now. The wideout 21 is Proctor Hug, and in the backfield, number 20, Ryan Quinlan. 17 is Connor Martin. And the quarterback is number three, John Wallace. And that's Quinlan, and he gets a tough two yards. Running down the Viking defense real quickly. 88, Eric Pacheco, 64, Adam Fout, 92, Jerry Foster, 99, Justin McIntyre. The linebackers are Randy Henson, Nick Garrett, Richie Geeson, and Kyle Jones. And in the secondary, Brian Finkel, Eric Domingo, and Ryan Craw. And it brings up third down and about, it looks like a uh, long four and a half, we're gonna call it maybe. Yeah, Nick Garrett's having some problem with his helmet again. They're trying to get that resolved before they resume play. fitting helmet on a cold day right now. So here we go, big third down play for the Huskies. Connor Martin around the outside. He's got running room, he's got a first down. He's still on his feet down to the 41 yard line. Richie Geeson and Ryan Craw drove him out. John, he went to the only good spot on the field. and uh, That's the only place there was some footing, and he took advantage of it, and that gives the Huskies a first down. I believe in the first go-around, Connor Martin uh, maybe only carried the ball three times. He had, I'm not sure how long he had been with the Huskies since transferring from Southern California. And, of course, John Wallace, the quarterback, was out with a broken collarbone in the first game, so a little different look for the Huskies today. Evans in motion. And it's Martin, and Martin's got to see him. He fumbles the fumbles football. Fumbles the ball, but. Well, he looked like he was right there, and maybe somebody else for the Huskies, along with several Vikings. And it looks like it maybe was number 20, number 20. Ryan, Ryan yeah. Quinlan on the recovery. Finkel knocked him out of bounds. They stacked that left side very heavy, John. Wes Evans was already over there. McKinley moved in motion, so uh, you created two tight ends along with receiver Proctor Hug to lead the blocking charge. We've had a timeout on the field, charge to South Tahoe, and we'll take a pause. All right, we're back. First and 10 for the Huskies at the Viking 37 yard, 38 yard line. And again, we have another hold up on the field with the officials. I think the yard markers, don't know. <clears throat> this time Wes Evans comes in motion. 
Connor Martin straight ahead. And Connor gets about three tough yards. Justin McIntyre and Kyle Jones on the stop. So early on, Mr. Martin has been the workhorse, carrying the ball five times already for the Huskies. For 28 yards. And that field has really slipped. Two of the Husky linemen nearly slipped running up to the line of scrimmage. Connor Martin around the outside, and he gets wrapped up. Nick Garrett stayed at home and wraps him up for no gain. Connor Martin on the run for Reno. On the stop for the Vikings, number 57, Nick Garrett. So a field that they tell me this morning had about maybe an inch of snow on it, but it uh, melted off as the morning wore on. Nothing like the eight inches that the local weather forecasters called that we were supposed to have today. Big third down, Wallace drops back, McIntyre in pursuit of him. Wallace looking for somebody and he gets wrapped Ooh. up. Looked like number 57, Nick Garrett. Nick Garrett there the stood tackle. there. So this will bring up a fourth down, and uh, I'm not sure. Uh, well, credit the South Tahoe defenders. No, John Wallace had no place to throw that ball. He had to go to the outside and try to make something with it, and Carson, or Tahoe was right there. And linebacker Garrett was able to fight, or fight off the blocker, so Tom Barcia will come in the pond. He's standing at the uh, South Tahoe 48. Not exactly field goal kicking weather or turf today. And let's see if he's going to get this one made. Die. Nope. Yeah, in the end zone. Well, we had a late flag, John. What we had was uh, Brian Capuzzo, number one, and number seven, Brian Craw, were mixing it up on away from the play. And they're going to call it against the Huskies. That penalty gave uh, South Tahoe some great field position here. Let's see if they can capitalize. Grant Swinney around the left side and uh, just nowhere to run. Gets maybe a yard out there. 54, Mike Coomer on the stop for the Huskies. So the Huskies have read the book on South Tahoe. And that is you have to stop number 35. Who's gained, uh, counting the postseason, 1,900 yards this year. Wow. Almost has that look, John, of when uh, the sun kind of breaks out on snowy days. That's it. He just wants to creep in, but <laughs> the snow keeps falling. And Gordon back looking. Uh, firing wide open. Uh, Dan Gomez at the 43-yard line. That's good for the first down. Julius Broussard, number two on the stop. On the stop for me, number two, Julius Broussard. Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 46 yard line. And maybe the worst part of the field is coming up in the next 20 yards, uh, which is really torn up in the middle. Pitch back to Swinney and Ryan McKinley right there to stop him for about a one yard loss on a play. Also in there was number 20, Ryan Quinlan. On the stop for inning number 11, Ryan McKinley, and number 20, Ryan Quinlan. So second down, and uh, we're going to call it a long 10. Van Gordon getting the play from the bench. Second and 10. Maybe a late arriving crowd. No, I don't think anything like last night down in uh, Minden where uh, the fans were still coming in in the second quarter of that game. But the weather a little nicer. Van Gordon back. Big rush. Uh -oh. Gets it off. This is picked off by Ryan Quinlan at the 50. Quinlan at the 40. Down to the 30-yard line, skating the sidelines, gets driven out of bounds in the 21. Richie Giesa, number 77, and number 50, Chris Thorne on the stop with the first turnover of the day, and it's a big break for the Huskies. Yeah. 
So the Huskies hoping to take advantage of the first break of the game, a pass interception, and John Wallace has him first and 10 from the Viking 21. And off to Quinlan, and Jake, Justin McIntyre wraps him up right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard pickup on the play. Second, second down and nine. And they're going to call maybe a two yard pickup, looks like they're going to give him. Yeah, that was a generous spot that time. <laughs> a lot of Reno faithful came down today. They're all packed in on the visitors' uh, stands that they just got shoveled off about an hour before game time. Wallace to Connor Martin. Martin around the left side. Ryan Craw wraps him up right away, assisted by Richie Geeson. Pick up with maybe about two yards on the play. And that's going to bring third and six, and the Vikings going with a little different lineup in there right now. <clears throat> the Huskies haven't thrown a whole lot this year. Uh, strictly a, a ground control offense. Dr. Hug is the lone wide out on the left hand side. It's Martin. And he's very close to first down yardage. Brought down by number 62, Nathan Swinney, and 57, Nick Garrett. And that is a Husky first down. Well, it's first and goal from inside the 10 yard line for the Huskies. John Wallace to Connor Martin. Martin driving and still on, still his, on his feet. Spinning down to the five. Eric Domingo saves the. Martin's a solid little performer, John. Uh, he comes in, I think he's, from what I saw, he, I believe he's about five foot seven. I'm going to guess he's not more than 160 pounds, but. Uh, Churning a lot of leg strength in those legs on that play because he got that extra five just on uh, his own merit. <coughs> and it's Martin again, again up the middle, right touchdown there. Huskies. Connor Martin behind some good blocking by the interior line and they just blew the hole open, John. Yeah, they, they locked a big hole for their uh, Receiver to go through, and that you know created the touchdown for uh, Reno. 45 yards unofficially uh, for Connor Martin in the first quarter of this game with 128 to go. Tom Vickery will attempt the extra point out of Proctor Hug's hole. Proctor Hug does a lot of things with this team. He was uh, the backup quarterback when John Wallace was down earlier this season. Plays wide receiver, defensive back. Vickery's kick is up. It's and good. It's good. So with 1.28 to go in the first quarter, the Reno Huskies draw first blood. The Huskies 7, South Tahoe 0. Well, Tom Vickery and the Huskies tee it up, getting ready to kick off after a nice drive, which uh, went 20 yards total, coming off of Ryan Quinlan's big interception and Mikey Van Gordon's pass. Gomez and Henson are going to be back for the kickoff. The sun trying to break through the clouds here as the snow is letting up a little bit to get some sunshine before this one's over. And there's Vickery's kick. It's another squib. Joey O'Malley takes it at the 20 to the 25, the 30. O'Malley pushing behind his blockers. And Joey goes down about the 35. So the Vikings will take over first and 10, and we'll be right back. So Mike Van Gordon brings the Vikings up first and 10 from their own 35 yard line. 122 to go. Hand off to Grant Swinney coming around the outside. outside. Trying to get around a corner. Big stop by Julius Broussard, number two. Swinney got about, uh, they're going to call it close to five yards on the play where they're going to spot it at. So nice spot for. Uh, the Vikings on that one. It was great pursuit by Broussard and went right down the line and, and tied up Sweeney. Well, 
I'm, I'm sure Coach Dan Avancino has gone over with him all week. You do not want to let Mr. Grant Swinney get by the linebackers because this guy has lightning speed if he can get out in the in the any area where he's out in the open. Second and five, Joey O'Malley on the carry, fighting, and he got maybe about a yard and a half. Number seven on the stop for the Huskies. It's Russ. Russ Nabeeker. Nabeeker. <clears throat> so this becomes a big third down play as the clock winds down to 16 seconds to go in the first quarter of this one. And Gordon takes a snap, drops back. A lot of time. He's going to take off running, but Wes Evans is just going to stop him. And that's going to end the first quarter of this game with the score. The Reno Huskies 7, South Tahoe 0. We'll be back for the second quarter right after this. So Matt Bobman in the pun on fourth down for the Vikings. He's standing about his own 26 yard line. High snap. Gets it off, though. And Good a high real, punt. Real high kick. Goes out of bounds right around the 25 yard line. So the Huskies will start first and 10 from their own 25. We'll be right back. Well, we're back. John Wallace leads the Huskies up. It's Connor Martin. Well, Martin. finds a hole. Oh, He's still he on his feet. Driving. Fumble of the fumble. Fumbling, uh, picked up by the Vikings. Vikings. Number 10. Ryan Finkel, and Finkel gets down to the 18 yard line. Well, John, I'm not sure who <laughs> stripped it away. Justin McIntyre had Martin. There looked like another uh, Viking defender over there. The ball came loose, and uh, now the turnover comes in the other direction as the Vikings get it back with a big, great field position. Well, it's first and 10 from the Husky 21 yard line for the Vikings. Grant Swinney on the carry. Flag on a play as he gets about three yards. And we actually have people sitting in some of the snow areas around here. <laughs> Some guys found a nice log down below us, so he's got a nice perch. Well, five yard penalty against the Vikings, still first down. Van Gordon lays it up for Dan Gomez. Tom Barcia knocks it away. And Gomez had him beat, you know, if uh, Van Gordon could have put a little bit more height on that ball, it would have been a touchdown. Yeah, and there's not much wind blowing right now, John. No. The, the flag's just kind of hanging still right now. So second down and 15 to go for the Vikings from the Husky 25 yard line. Swinney. He's right got the middle, all he's got a hole. 20 to 15, 20 still on his feet, down to the 10-yard line, flags, oh, flags come out. everywhere. And I think we got a face mask. Have to wait and see what the call is, but uh, they had him around the head when the flags came flying. He looks up okay. That's it, face mask against the Husky. That's going to make it half the distance to the goal. It'll be second and uh, goal for the uh, South Tahoe Vikings. South Tahoe first and goal. Excuse me, first and goal. So the Vikings now trying to take advantage of the, their turnover with Brian Fink on the fumble recovery. It's Grant Swinney trying to find an opening. Outside, and he he's still fighting. Away. He's still going. He's in for the touchdown. 
So the Vikings pull back seven to six. Huh? I'm on Sweeney. Okay. Grant Sweeney on the sidelines. Big burst carried the ball for 20 yards so far in the second quarter, which is a lot better in his first quarter output of just eight yards. Matt Bobman will attempt to tie the game up with 11 11 in the first half, and it's up. It's good. So we've got a Donnybrook at stake, a meeting with the Douglas Tigers next week. It's the Vikings 7, the Huskies 7. We'll be back. Well, we're back with 11.07 to go in the first half. Matt Bobman will be kicking off for the Vikings. Back deep for the Huskies. Looks like Connor Martin and Anthony Stewart. Oh, beautiful kick. And this one is way deep into the end zone. Touches the snow outside the end zone, so the Huskies will take over first and 10 from their 20, and we'll be back. So John Wallace brings up the Reno Huskies, first and 10 from their own 20 yard line. Wallace going to keep it straight ahead, and he gets just swallowed up by Justin McIntyre, but he got a fi nice five yard pickup out of the play. Second down and five yards. They're dead center in the middle of the field where it's a little beat up and a little ground up. Evans in motion. Here comes Martin and Troy Radke read it real well. Martin still got about two yards, but they. Uh, they maybe are figuring out the little system that's coming through. On the stop for the Vikings, number 44, Troy Ratke. John, it looked like when Wes Evans uh, started to make his uh, little in motion move, the Viking linebackers are trying to adjust to the holes. Well, so far, every time he's made that, that little scoot move across the line, he's the lead blocker, and I think that's what they're keying on right now. And Wes Evans is one big player. Six foot four, 255 he's listed at, but he may be even bigger than that. <laughs> he's a big boy. Third down and four. Yeah. Wallace back. Kyle Jones with a big rush on him. Richie Geeson drives him out of bounds at the 25 yard line. And fourth down comes up. So a good stand by the Viking defense. And this will bring up Tom Barcia, the Husky punter, and back deep. Matt Finkel. The adventures uh, in punt returns. <laughs> Brian, Brian Finkel has taken some punt returns that no one will attempt to grab, and he takes off with them. He is a, he is a fun player to watch. Barcia, and there's his kick. It's going to go right in the mud. And Finkel's going to pick it up at the 38-yard line. He's on going. To the 40, around the outside. Picks up a Finkel. great block. Oh. Flag on the play. Brian got down to about the 43. I think they're going to say that was a block in the back, so. Well, that was one of those plays where you thought the ball just might die, and uh, Brian took off with it. Officials sorting out this one. There's a couple of flags on the play. Yeah, legal block in the back. Yeah, it will be against the Vikings, so we're going to see where they'll end up finally spotting it at. Official almost went down on that one. And it's going to go back to about where Brian picked it up at, around a 33-yard uh, line. So the Vikings will take over, first and 10. All tied up, 7-7. Seven to seven. And they're waiting for the chain gang, who... Uh, yeah, chain gangs, that's, that's, a, that's a tough job, but they, they all have a tendency to uh, get that uh, I'm sitting in the front row seat mentality going and forget where the ball's at. Dan Gordon, the Grant Swinney, 
He's still on his feet. He jukes Wes Evans. He's outside, but nowhere to run. It's like Julius Broussard, number two, drove him out of bounds after maybe a pickup of two yards. So second down and a oh, the long seven. Van Gordon drops back, yes. got time, fires over the top. Oh, Just the keys. Just a pretty pass down the keys, brought down by Proctor Hug at the 40 yard line and a Tahoe first down. Justin Keyes sometimes is a forgotten guy among that uh, slew of speedy wide receivers as a tight end, and uh, he does seem to get out in the open. But a lot of time, uh, good protection by the offensive line for the Vikings on that one. And just a beautiful throw straight in there. Grant Swinney, and oh boy, he's nothing. down. Brian McKinley, number 11 along with number 75, Joe Sturgis on the stop. Or Sean Bingham, excuse me. out on the left hand side. It's a swing. Mike Coomer. Oh boy. Nice play by the outside linebacker. So the Husky defense trying to uh, stop the Vikings right now. He's got plenty of time. He's firing for Gomez. Incomplete. Just overthrown. Fourth and 11. That'll bring Bobman back into punt. We had a nice high long one on this last one and uh, We've seen Matt hit the coffin corner a few times this year, so uh, we'll see if he maybe is going for one of those uh, directions. Tom Barcea is a uh, lone kick returner back deep for the Huskies. A lot of Husky faithful standing in the snow along the fence, along with uh, the stands that are totally packed over here. Back at his own 45 yard line for this punt. Good snap. And Another high one. High spiral. You're going to let and it go. The Vikings and Vikings may have a chance. This one's going to go down. Right to the four, four yard line. A big, big weapon in the punter, Matt Bobman, and the Huskies will be back deep as we come back. So the Huskies with their backs against the wall at their own four yard line, and Wallace. It. Comes straight ahead. He gets wrapped up. Uh, looks like Adam Fountain, uh, Nathan Sweeney, and uh, looks like Nick Garrett also in on the stop for the Vikings. Pick up of about uh, three on the play. Wallace again, straight ahead. He's got a bit of an opening. Ryan Cross stopped it up. John Wallace on the run for Reno. On the stop for the Vikings, number seven, Ryan Cross. John, I think John Wallace was even surprised at how much running room he suddenly saw in front of him. Uh, before that was Ryan. it. There, there was a lot of room there, and I can understand why the Vikings haven't plugged that hole.
Again. Wallace straight ahead, and I'm not sure he got it. I don't think so. I don't think he made it back to the line. The push wasn't there as uh, Richie Geese at 77. The nose middle linebacker got in there, and I think he stopped him. And it is. It'll be fourth down. So Tom Barcia will be standing right at his own end zone. And Brian Finkel back at the 50 yard line hoping to get off another one. Brian's been looking for that infamous punt return for a touchdown all year. Barcia. And very close. Finkel, Finkel takes it at the 48. One. He kind of pauses for a second, waited for some blockers. And <laughs> well, he got in the mud. <laughs> As uh, Brian Capuzzo and Ryan McKinley and Julius Broussard drive him into the mud area. <laughs> Not sure about the hesitation, but we'll find out. We'll be back in just a second. Okay, Vikings with the ball again. And they're in Husky territory at the 48 yard line. Swinney Grant Swinney oh, bobbles the, the ball. ball. And it's recovered by the Huskies, but maybe Joey O'Malley might have stolen back. Let's see who's got it. I'm going to say the Huskies recovered. Number four, Gerald Berry with the recovery and a, another big turnover. <laughs> so we'll see if the Huskies can take advantage of uh, turnover. So far, we've had two of them in the game, and both times have led the scores. Huskies inside Viking territory at the 49 yard line. John Wallace brings him up. <laughs> Connor Martin. And Martin gets swung to the ground by Ryan Craw, but not before he got about five yards. Connor Martin on the run for Ryan. On the stop for the Vikings is a seven Ryan Craw. Eight five on the play, second and five. 4.35 to go in the first half of this one. Quick moving uh, playoff action today. Wallace to Ryan Quinlan, and Quinlan gets hit immediately. By number 77, Richie Gisa, assisted by 88, Eric Pacheco. And that'll bring up a third down. Wallace seems to be changing his cadence right now, going with a longer count, trying to draw off the uh, South Tower defenders. Yes. Well, another big third down play. Okay. Okay. Connor Martin. And he's fighting, fighting for the first down, but Didn't he is get not it. gonna get it. Nick Garrett, number 57 in there, along with Geeson and number seven, Ryan Crom. up fourth and two and I would imagine at this uh, position of the field that the bike the Huskies will go for it. That's what it looks like. Uh, we'll see if they're going to try and draw the see if they can get the Vikings to jump or if they'll go straight ahead. The fourth and two the Husky faithful are making a lot of noise. It's Martin and he I don't think he got it. Eric Pacheco stopping him. So the Viking defense holds at their own 41 yard line. Two fifty four to go and we'll be back. All right, we're back and the Huskies almost jumped and Mikey Van Gordon's going to call a timeout. Timeout South Following 
And we'll take a break during this timeout, and we'll be back. Well, we're back first and 10 from their own 41 yard line for Mikey Van Gordon and South Tahoe. Sweeney offense. with the ball gets a hole. He's got running room around the right side, trying to cut back his first down yardage, pick up about 12 yards. Julius Broussard, number two, brings him down. So suddenly, uh, Grant Swinney has got his running legs under him. He's picked up uh, for the game close to 40 yards. Most of it has been in this second quarter. Clock running, 2.40 to go in the first half. Gomez is a wide out, low wide out to the far left side. Van Gordon back, he's looking for Gomez, lays it up deep. Gomez is in the open. Bad. Oh! In and out. Good coverage by number 28, Tom Barcia. Well, it was a good call, John, on first down. To, Boy, it uh, was, and, and, and Gomez was wide open, too. I mean, that's, just couldn't hold on. He's got good speed, and uh, it was just, it was, the pass was there. So the clock's holding at 2.23 on the incomplete pass. Van <laughs> Gordon back. He's got time. Firing over the top. Kevin Capolino at the 30. The 25 to the 20. Still on well, his feet. feet. He's still moving. 15. The ball's loose. And I think the Huskies may have it. Hold the phone. Huskies ball. Oh, boy. Let's see who's on the bottom of that. We got two Huskies down on the field. Julius Broussard getting up very slowly, number two, and the other Husky is still down on the field. I think Broussard is going to be uh, credited with that uh, fumble recovery. Like number eight, maybe. Eight or five. So it was a big completion until they were able to surround him and knock the ball out of his hands. Tom Barcia shaking up on the play. Number, number 28, Tom Barcia, and he came out to the sidelines uh, shaking up on that play in which the uh, Huskies recovered the fumble by Brian Cap by Kevin Capolino. <laughs> So the Huskies with 2.06 to go in the first half have the ball at their own 12-yard line. And it's Stewart and Wallace again straight ahead, and he gets wrapped up by a host of Vikings. Oh, the whole line. <laughs> Boy, they'll do anything to get mentioned on television, won't they? Hey, they're going to hit him till the whistle blows, That's okay? It. That's, That's all it. there is to it. Well, you know, uh, the way we've seen it this year throughout the 4A, uh, sometimes these guys, like, have forgotten to blow the whistle on occasion. The second down, nine to go for the Huskies. 130 and counting in the first half. Connor Martin and Ryan Craw on the stop for the Vikings. Connor Martin on the for Reno. On the stop for the Vikings. And he's seven, just nine, a little Kong. short of about two yards short of the first down in yardage. Third and two with the clock still running at 55 seconds. Huskies really in no hurry. Uh, maybe they just want to get out of here in the first half. <clears throat> and time on the field. <laughs> Not sure what it is. They're checking the uh, elbow pad of number three, Eric Domingo. Uh, it's You're going to say blood? 
Well, that's what I'm wondering. It almost, uh, I said the elbow pad, but it looks like he does have some kind of uh, Band-Aid on, so maybe he did cut himself. And, uh... so I'm gonna bring in Colin Griffin. Colin's come in, number 17, so clock is running with 38 seconds. It's Connor Martin again. Martin running outside. Martin's got some running, and he trips and falls. Oh, boy. Connor Martin had running room around the left-hand side. There was only one man to beat. He would have been gone. So with 26 seconds to go as they move the change. I guess we're not going to see any long bomb out of the Hail Mary uh, throw to in the half out of the Huskies. I think at this point, you just be conservative, go into halftime and see what adjustments you can make. And it's Martin, and he gets bottled up by a host of Vikings, led by number eight, Kyle Jones. And that's going to end the first half. With a look at the scoreboard, the Vikings of South Tahoe 7, the Reno Huskies 7. We'll be back with the second half right after this. And among the fans that we're seeing for this uh, playoff game between Reno and South Tahoe over on the far side, we see some of the Douglas Tiger players are over here. Uh, not sure how many we can recognize. Uh, A.G. Reed, Kyle Lucan, maybe Dusty Cooper among that bunch. Not sure if uh, a few of the others over there, but... Uh, they're here watching who may be their opponent next Friday night. So. Well, one of these teams will be, so Mike, they're hoping to get some pointers, I'm sure. Well, at least get used to the cold, maybe. <laughs> Second half, folks, sorry we missed the uh, kickoff with some technical difficulties with the uh, tape, but we're back here. The Huskies have had two offensive plays. Connor Martin gained 12 yards on the first one, and then the second one just gained another first down on a 10-yard run, so you're caught up on where we're at. 10.58 and counting here in the third quarter, all tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. John Wallace straight ahead, and he's got a bit of running room. And there's ball the ball comes. loose. And it's recovered by, by South Tahoe. Tahoe. Eric Domingo, number three, stripped the ball, and whoa, wait a second. Did the Huskies get it back? Well, let's see who the... No, they're saying South Tahoe South has Tahoe. possession. So on a cold day on a wet field and the snow starting to pick up as the uh, third quarter comes back, as it had let up for a little bit. The tide changes and the Vikings get the ball back here in the third quarter. <coughs> Swinney on the handoff around breaks the left through. side. At the 40, down to the 38-yard line. First down, South Tahoe. And very quickly, to give you some uh, stats on these two running backs, uh, Swinney with that carry has 55 yards rushing for the day. Unofficially, Connor Martin had 80 yards in the first half. He's picked up 22. He's over 100 yards in the game for the Huskies. So first and 10 for South Tahoe at the Reno 39-yard line. Grant Swinney again, and just nothing there as he is wrapped up by number 11, Ryan McKinley. On the side for Reno, number 11, Ryan McKinley. Pickup of maybe a yard and a half on the play. I don't think they're going to even give him that. They're just going to no, give him aren't. to the line of scrimmage. No, they gave him a yard. Griffin is the lone wideout, number 17. Van Gordon sprinting out to left-hand side. He's going to keep it, looking for running room. Tom Marseille and a good saving tackle out there. Van Gordon got maybe two yards with a lot of running. Nice play by the outside cornerback, Tom Marseille, who held his ground and uh, stayed at home. Call it, uh, After the injury. Seven. Huh? Seven. Third 
Brings a big third down for the Vikings right now. And also for the Husky defense as they want to prevent South Tahoe from moving that ball any farther into their territory. Van Gordon back, pops once, looks, fires. Kevin Capolino. it is That's intercepted accepted. by Proctor Hug. Looked like Capolino slowed up a little bit and the ball was already in the air. Yeah. Right into the hands of Proctor Hug. And Hug held his ground and the Huskies will have it about their own three yard line, I think, when they finally settle it down. Huskies first and ten from their own three. And this looks like Martin and nowhere to go as he may have lost about a half a yard. Forward momentum may have got him back to the line of scrimmage. John, just off camera, we were, you were just remarking that the, the Huskies, the last time they were down in there, deep in their own red zone, went straight ahead with the quarterback. Yeah, they went up three times in a row and then went out. So, you know, it's... It worked before, and I'm not sure if they think if they think the Vikings have adjusted to something in the middle, but uh, look for maybe that play to happen again. Connor Martin, a lone setback behind John Wallace. The pitch to Martin. Outside. And big running room as Martin gets out to about the 12 yard line. Connor Martin out of Ventorino. First stop the Vikings, Ryan Carr and Ryan Finkel. So a big, big third down play for the Viking defense as they would like to get the ball back and they've got the Huskies deep in their own territory. Third down from their 12 yard line. Ryan Quinlan and he gets a first down yardage. No, they're going to measure. They're going to say it's that close. It looks like they get the ball spotted around a 14. So this. It's tough to tell. This is a field that uh, gets a little high in the center of it. <clears throat> so like reading a uh, good pot and right now we're reading snowflakes into our face up here. And oh yeah. First time. <laughs> So the Huskies will move the chains again. They're still back at their own 14 yard line. As the snowflakes are getting a little bit bigger. <clears throat> Wallace was Quinlan and Martin in the backfield behind him. Proctor hugged the lone wide out. And it's Martin. And again, he and slips. There's just no footing down there at all right now, John, even on the grassy part of the field. No, and as the temperature drops, you know, these kids have to be just bone cold from the, the wet field, so. Equipment timeout again. And this is Adam, Adam Fountain, I believe, going off yeah. the field. Oscar Marino, number 90, will come in in a spot. That's a big kid to lose off your front line right now. going to get called for pass interference. Pass interference, 
So the interference call on number three, Eric Domingo. Sorry. And, and I, th I think Domingo was right to question that call. I didn't see any interference. He wasn't even looking well, at the ball. And we're going to wait six now. They are going to mark it off against the Vikings. Yeah, it looked like uh, he had the inside position on Hug, and the ball came into Hug's hands. Not sure uh, where they saw the banging around at, but uh, they've made the call, and it's a first down right now for the Reno Huskies at their own 30-yard line. Wallace back to pass again, looking, firing over the top, intended for hug, incomplete. Not really sure why we're suddenly seeing uh, an air game out of the Huskies. They've had over 100 yards rushing out of Connor Martin today. And possibly uh, the thinking may be that if they can air it out a little bit, complete a couple passes, it might open the running game up, which has been tightened down a little bit as we started the second half. Second and 10. I think most of that's the footing. That's all, all just the field right now. It is real slippery right here. Pitch back to Martin. Ryan and Cross. He's racked up. Yeah, it's, you know, John, at this point, it almost looks like when they're just walking out there that the, the dirt is just coming up. Right. Yeah, they break the huddle and half of them trip going up to the line. Well, third and ten. Quinlan will be the lone setback. Proctor Hugg split wide out to the right-hand side. Anthony Stewart is split out here to the left. Fires pass for the middle. Stewart. Incomplete. And another problem when you have a cold field like we have right now in cold weather, that ball is going to be very hard to catch because it's coming out at a very strong force. Well, adventure and fun returns continue as Tom Barcio will be kicking Brian Finkel's back for the Vikings around the 30-yard line. Big rush on Barcia. Finkel's going to let that one go. This is going to get a Husky bounce. And the Huskies are going to have the Vikings deep in their own backyard, and we'll be back right after this. Well, we're back from their own 10 yard line. Van Gordon hands off the Sweeney. 20, 20, trying to break loose at the 15 out to the 16 yard line. Proctor Hug, 21 on the stop. Second and five, Gomez, the wide out. The Grand 20 again, and he's up to about the 21 yard line. Good enough for a Viking first down. First down. The Husky faithful standing in the snow, watching this game. The stands are filled. Sweeney and just no place to go for Grant as he gets tripped up. Let's see who was on the stop. Looks like big number eight, Wes Evans. On stop, Reno number eight, Wes Evans. Bring up second and 10 for the Vikings. 4.06 left in the third quarter. Pitch back to Kevin Capolino. It's going to be the 
Receiver option pass, firing across for Mikey Van Gordon. And it's complete! Van Gordon at the 35, down to the 38, biking first down. Well, we got a flag way down at the line. Oh, boy. Probably will bring it all back. Against the Vikings. Well, a little something different on the offense here. John with the pitch back to receiver Capolino who threw it across, across the seam to Van Gordon. But it all came back. Yeah, that was a beautiful play for the Vikings. It would just opened things up again, gave them a little incentive, but now they're knocked way back. And it's something else for uh, Coach Mike Rippey and the Douglas Tigers to think about as they uh, are watching both these teams today, trying to look for any secret that they may uh, shove at them. Vikings with two wide outs to the left-hand side. Van Gordon, draw play to Grant Swinney. And he gets up to maybe the 19-yard line. Stop by number 51, Jake Killeen. And Sweeney had a big hole there, but uh, it was closed real quickly by the Reno Huskies. Well, it's third and 14 to go from their own 18-yard line. Gomez and Capolino wide out to the left hand side. Van Gordon back, looking, looking, lots of time. Lays it out for Gomez. Picked and it's intercepted. Proctor Hug again. John, he was playing like deep center field, just waiting back for it. A lot of help on this secondary with Brian Capuzzo and Julius Broussard back there also. Well, they knew that pass was coming, and all they did was just wait. And it's hung up way in the air. A lot of hang time on that pass. And Proctor Hug comes up with it. Second interception of the day for Proctor Hug. Ryan Quinlan has the other Husky interception. So now the Huskies take over from their own 46-yard line. Got a marker on the home for Reno. Martin gets about four yards on that carry. Two minutes and 15 seconds to go in the third quarter of this one. The Husky faithful are stomping on the stand. They're Down coming below. to line now, just trying to get their, their team some incentive. Martin, Martin again. again. He got maybe about two. Martin plugging away in that dangerous part of the field. He can't have much footing at all. And at this stage, you get, you got to start wondering. Uh, we saw a little bit of it last night. Both teams were uh, hitting at the ball and. Uh, the ball carriers on both teams are going to really have to hold on as this ball gets slippery, cold, and the other guys want it bad. Connor Martin around the outside. Oh, he breaks it through, and there's nobody to beat. It's going to be a Husky touchdown on a big run by Connor Martin from 44 yards out. found the seam and there was just nobody at home in the secondary. And on a day like that, a big, big play following the turnover. And this is the third time today, the third score that's followed a turnover in this game. Tom Vickery will attempt the extra point. It's up, it's good. The score. The Reno Huskies 14, South Tahoe 7. We got 116 to go in the third. We'll be back.
looking across the way at uh, some of the Douglas Tiger players and coaches who were down here watching the game along with a lot of the South Tahoe faithful in the stands. And everybody's waiting to see what's going to happen. Minute 16 to go in the third quarter, a whole fourth quarter left. One of these two teams will end their season today. Another one will move on next Friday night against the Douglas undefeated Douglas Tigers down at Minden. Tom Vickery will be kicking off. He's got Randy Henson and Dan Gomez both standing at their nine yard line. Vickery has had nothing but squib kicks today. I don't know if it's on purpose or he just can't get a hold of the ball. Saw a lot of this last night in the Douglas Hug game. And one time uh, they finally got one deep. It was returned 99 yards for a touchdown by the Hug Hawks. <clears throat> Oh, here we go, Tom Vickery, and he gets it up in the air. It's going to be Gomez at the seven. Picks up his wall. To the 25. Proctor hug again. Another big play by number 21 as he stops Gomez at the 38-yard line. Vikings first and 10 from their own 37 yard line. Down 14 to 7, 113 to go in the third quarter. Van Gordon drops back, swings wide out to the left hand side. Nowhere to go. <clears throat> and we have a flag on the field at the 40 yard line. Uh, looks that way, yep. So let's see what they call. There was a group of wall of blockers out there trying to find an opening for Van Gordon around the left side. I think you're going to see holding against Tahoe. Yep. No. No, it's Defensive against the Reno Huskies. Big, big penalty. Coach Dan Avancino, uh, head coach of the Huskies, got some information from the official on the defensive holding against the Huskies. No, it was an illegal block in the back. Is that what they're calling? Yeah, that's what they called it. First and ten at their own 48-yard line. Van Gordon is winning. Grant finds a hole with the 40 down to the 38-yard line. Brought down by number 11, Ryan McKinley, and we can barely see Mr. McKinley's number at this point. But another South Tahoe first down. First and ten. So they're in Husky territory at the 38 yard line. Swinney. And oh, he is racked up. And we got a loose ball. The Huskies are saying they got it. I think it was called down before the. Uh... Mike Coor, number 54, and Ryan McKinley, 11, are among those in on the stop. And the officials having another little conference out there, except for the one poor guy on this side who just kind of gets left out. No. Tahoe retains possession. I, I think he was down. I'm sure he was. Well, second down and it's called a long eight. Sweeney running behind his blockers. Gets down to about the 33 yard line. Fired <laughs> And that's the end of the third quarter for the score. The Reno Huskies 14, South Tahoe 7. One quarter left.
in the semifinal matchup. We'll be back. Well, we're back. It's third down and a big, big play for the South Tahoe Vikings. Hand off to Grant Swinney. And he's got the first down and more. Again, another fumble and... Oh, and they're saying the Huskies go. Let's see what the officials say. And it's South Tahoe ball, according to the officials. Which is not making the Husky faithful happy. Swinney's up to 90 yards for this game. So, uh, Grant, the leading rusher in the northern Nevada 4A. Dang Gordon back, looking, Justin Keys wide open. Oh! Did he hold on? There's They're going to say complete. It. Oh! Oh, man. And Boy, Reno was that. Fans are going nuts. I, you know. I, I think Reno's right there. I think he trapped that ball going down, but the officials didn't see it. And we'll only know when we look at this film later on, but uh, Justin Keyes was wide open over the middle, and again, Van Gordon had lots of time to throw it. When he takes it in. Touchdown, Vikings. Well, this one will be talked about when they look at the replay of that one. The big pass play called a completion of Justin Keys. Did he bobble it or not? From up here, it looked like he did, John. It really did. And yeah. we won't know until we look at the film later on. But. Uh, it's all for naught because the officials called it a good catch. Grant Swinney is taking it in, and Matt Bobbin is trying to tie this game up right now. It's an important kick now for Bobbin. It's up. That's good. And a score with 11.01 to go in this game. South Tahoe 14, Reno 14. We'll be back. Well, looking at the South Tahoe cheerleaders across the way in the stands, they and the fans are all standing there fired up. It is all tied up 14-14. Both these teams fighting for their football lives in 2003. Bobman going to kick. Anthony Stewart and Connor Martin are back deep for the Huskies, standing at their own three-yard line. Bobman's boot. Taken on the one. Anthony Stewart to the 5 to 10. Oh, Stewart and he's tucked down. down on the 11, 14-yard line. Brian Finkwood, Ryan Craw in on the stop. So the Huskies back deep in their own red zone. We'll be back right after this. John Wallace bringing up the Reno Huskies. <clears throat> Drops back. Back to pass. Looking, firing for Proctor Hug. Incomplete. And Proctor Hug, uh, we haven't mentioned it, is the namesake of uh, the gentleman that Proctor Hug High School was named for. Just a little trivia information when you have nothing else to do on a cold Saturday afternoon and uh, the snow is almost faded to nothing now. It's, but it is cold out here, absolutely cold. <laughs> we got to give Proctor Hug credit. This has been his game for the Reno Huskies. He, he has done everything. Offense, defense, special teams. Uh, he's been the guy today. It's actually second down. They don't have it on the yard marker. Pitch out to Connor Martin, and Connor Martin steps out of bounds about the 13-yard line. Connor Martin's had a real good game rushing. Uh, a solid performer for the Huskies, and this is very close to, they're saying it's at, but about the 23, I guess. You can't read his number on the back. And they're they're going to measure it. Yep. Chains are coming across. This will be a big first down if uh, Martin got it. Pardon me? Who do you guys have for number five? Anthony Stewart. Stewart. Anthony Stewart. <laughs> See 
And somewhere in that mass of humanity is a uh, first down. According to the officials. So a big, big run for Connor Martin, who continues to rack up the yards for the Huskies today. We've got the coach again down there. Dan Avancino giving uh, some final instructions to John Wallace. Avancino in his second year as the head man with the Huskies. Todd McIntyre in his first year after many years as an assistant running the South Tahoe high school football team. So John Wallace brings him up. Drives back to back pass again. For Proctor Hug. And oh boy, was he sandwiched by Eric Domingo and Nick Garrett. Proctor Hug has been the guy they've been going to today. Uh, last week against McQueen, we saw him use the two tight ends, uh, Ryan McKinley and Wes Evans as pass receivers. Big Adam Fountain and number 52, Nathan Sweeney, on the stop for the Vikings. We've had him all day, and this is another one, another big third down play. Evans in motion. motion. Wallace Pass. back. Big rush by Kyle Jones. The Proctor Hug. Oh. Big tipping tackle by Eric Domingo. And I don't know if Hugs play. Hand on the ball stretched out. No, they're going to call where his knee hit. The Reno fans are firing him up, wanting to go for it instead of the punt, but. Uh... Tom Barcia in the punt, and Tom's had a big day for the Huskies as a defensive back and as a punter and punt returner. Well, that's a beauty that time. Finkel, will he stay away from it? Nope. Brian at the 20. Flag on the uh... play. Finkel down at the 25 yard line. Brought down by number 54, Mike Coomer. Right on the play. And we'll have to see what this one is. Another block in the back. And it's against the Vikings. Well, this is actually going to, while it's going to move them back, it actually puts them in maybe a little bit better uh, part of the field that isn't totally torn up. Not sure they want to start back at their own 13 yard line, 13 but at least there's a lot of green grass back there. It just dawned on me why I think uh, we see a lot of the Husky fans standing. They have plowed so much snow off this field that I'm not sure if sitting down in the front row you can even see over that pile of snow. So it's first and ten from their own 13-yard line, deep in their own territory. Nine minutes, seven seconds to go in this game. Van Gordon to Sweeney, the ball is loose. I think Van Gordon got. He dove for it, but he had two Reno Huskies diving at the same time, and Mike Van Gordon came up with it. Big, big recovery. And that loses three yards. Very close. Lost of six on the play. The coach, whoever with the coach. Lost of six on the play, second and 16. So a six yard loss for the Vikings. Second and 16, deep now, back at their own eight yard line. Capolino wide out to the left, Gomez to the right. 
pitch back to Grant Swinney. He's got running room. If he can get around the corner, flag into play. Swinney at the 20, 20 at the 30, down the sidelines at the 40. Driven out of bounds by Proctor Hawk and another great play by number 21 for the Huskies. Oh, man. But there's a flag way back at the line of scrimmage. And that's usually in the area where we get a hole, John. On the Vikings. The Viking fans have been waiting for Grant Swinney to break one all day long. And when he finally does, a flag comes out. The Boo Birds are coming out in droves from the South Tahoe side and cheers from the Reno side. But Proctor Hug again. <laughs> This guy has just had a great game for the Huskies. He's been everywhere. He's a, he's covered in mud after hitting that sideline, knocking Swinney out of bounds. But boy, this one's going to put the Vikings very deep right now. Second point. Second and forever from their own five. They got to get out to their own 24 yard line. Gomez and Capolino are the two wideouts. Keys is the tight end. Van Gordon, the swinging, and he breaks loose so at the 10 out to about the 15 yard line. Gets back to maybe the original line of scrimmage with a 10 yard pickup, and that'll bring up third down. Just past the original line of scrimmage, so it's going to be third and a long nine. With 7.30 and running on the clock. Capolino wide to the right, picked up by Julius Broussard. Gomez on the left. Mike Coomer and Barcia have picked him up. Pitch back to Grant Swinney around the right-hand side. Can he get around the corner? No. no. Gerald Berry, number four, with a big, big stop over there. Well, fourth down, and Matt Bobman will be standing probably at about his own three-yard line. He right now needs to get off the punt of his career for the Vikings as they are deep in the hole. Barcia standing about his own 48 to receive it. Good snap. That's a Bobbin. high. Going to take Taking a good a Viking, Viking bounce. Roll. It's going to be down to the midfield stripe. So with 6.30 to go in this one, it's all tied up. 14, 14, we'll be back. Six minutes and 30 seconds left. The pitch back to Connor Martin, trying to go around the outside. Breaks a gets tackle, gets the outside. Garrett. First down yardage down to about the 37 yard line. side for the Husky lineup right now. Wallace carries it straight ahead and Nick Garrett and Richie Geeson bottle him up right in the middle of the line. Maybe a yard on the play. Kyle Jones also in there on the stop. John Wallace getting the instructions from Coach Rick. Dan Avancino. Second and about seven for the Huskies. To Connor Martin. And Martin gets down to about the 31. Nick Garrett, Justin McIntyre, and Geeson on the stop. And 
another big third down for the Huskies coming up here. And the clock's running, less than five minutes to go in the game. So this is a big, big play for both these teams right now. The crowd on both sides is standing and cheering. Connor Martin. Oh, close, it's gonna be close. And this is gonna be very close. McIntyre, Sweeney. And first down. Stop and a big first down for the Huskies. Clock running, 4.49 to go. The first time these two teams met, they came down to the final three minutes of the game and a missed extra point as the Vikings won 21 to 20. Off to Martin. And again. And he slipped through for maybe about two. Some, somewhere he can find a bit of a seam in those holes, Dan. John, excuse me. Well, some of the Husky faithful uh, students here on the, on the hill in the snow watching this matchup between the Huskies and the Vikings. 350 and counting left in this game. The pitch back to Martin. Oh. A big hit by Brian Finkel at the 25-yard line. Finkel hitting from the side, Keithson hitting from the front. And Connor Martin was stopped. And that'll bring up third down. You know, we sometimes forget about it when we get to playoff season that it's not just a playoffs for the seniors. This is the last this game. This is their last game. That's uh, it. Some may move on to junior college or college action, but some may never put on a football uniform again. So this is a big moment. Wallace back, back to, to pass. pass. Complete to. Oh, man. Proctor hug again, but I don't think he's got the first down. He drilled that in there. Big time coverage all over Hug, but Hug made the reception. 